Hello kids. As you know, part of the CRCT test contains information on parts of a book. We all know that a book contains the cover, title page, table of contents, and the glossary. We will watch a short video to show these parts and other parts of a book. Please sit quietly and enjoy the video. Knowing the parts of a book can help you figure out where to look for information. The parts of a book include the table of contents, the index, and the glossary. The table of contents is located in the front of the book and it lists the chapter titles. Books often have an index in the back of the book that you can look through to find specific information. Sometimes there is a glossary located in the back of the book that provides the definitions of words used in the book. Let's watch a story about Thomas Jefferson. Then we'll talk about how you might find more information in the different parts of a book. Thomas Jefferson was the third president of the United States. He was born in 1743. He graduated in 1762 from the College of William and Mary in Virginia. After college, he studied law and worked as a lawyer. He later held a number of different positions in government. In addition to being president, he was a scientist, an architect, a philosopher, and a writer. Jefferson was an agriculturalist, which means that he grew food. Jefferson is the first known American to grow tomatoes in the United States. He helped introduce the tomato as an edible vegetable to America. Jefferson was also an architect. He designed his dome-shaped home at Monticello in Virginia, as well as several other buildings. His style of architecture influenced the architects who designed the buildings in our nation's capital, Washington, D.C. Let's take a closer look at the story about Thomas Jefferson and how to use the different parts of a book. The table of contents is located in the front of the book. It lists the chapter titles in the book. Look at the chapter titles in this book. Each chapter talks about a different aspect of Thomas Jefferson's life. The index is located at the end of a book. An index is a list of words along with the page numbers on which those words can be found. Some listings have many page numbers or whole chapters devoted to a subject. Others are mentioned only a few times. The glossary is a list in the back of the book that gives the definitions of words or terms used in that book. Not every word in the book will be defined in the glossary, so you may still need a dictionary. Let's look up the word architecture in the different parts of this book. In what section would you find the definition or meaning of the word architecture? The table of contents, the index, or the glossary? You would find the meaning of the word architecture in the glossary. The glossary contains a list of definitions. In this glossary, we can learn that architecture is the practice of designing buildings. In what section would you look to find a chapter about architecture? The table of contents, the index, or the glossary? You would find a chapter about architecture in the table of contents. The table of contents is located in the front of the book. It lists the names of the chapters and the page numbers where each chapter begins. This table of contents says that architecture is covered in chapter 3. In what section would you expect to find a listing of all the pages where architecture is mentioned? The table of contents, the index, or the glossary? you would find the pages where the word architecture is used in the index. 
The index is located at the end of a book. It's a list of words along with the page numbers on which those words can be found. By looking in this index, we can see that the word architecture is also used on pages other than the architecture chapter. Knowing the parts of a book can help you figure out where to look for information. The parts of a book include the table of contents, the index, and the glossary. Open your history book and scan any page. When you find a word you don't understand, look it up in the glossary. Okay, I hope that you have enjoyed the video. My friend, Mr. Ashley, has a presentation for you on parts of a book. He will explain the different parts of a book. Parts of a book. Knowing the parts of a book should help you find information faster and more efficiently. It will save you time and effort, especially when it comes to writing your bibliography. What is a book? A book is pages, pictures, and words. A book is animals, people, and birds. A book is stories of kings and queens, poems and songs, so many things. Curled in a corner where I can hide, with a book I can journey far and wide. Through its only paper from end to end, a book is a very special friend. The cover. The cover of a book protects its pages. It also tells you the title of the book and the name of the author. The author is the person who wrote the book. Sometimes the book will have an illustrator, and the illustrator is the person that drew the pictures in the book. The spine. The spine of a book holds it together. On the spine you will find the title of the book, the author's name, the call number, and the name of the publishing company. The call number is a group of numbers or letters that tells you where to find the book in the library. It may have numbers or letters. It may even have both numbers and letters. The title page. The title page is the first page in the book. It tells you the title of the book, who wrote the book, and who illustrated the book. It also tells you who published the book. The table of contents. The table of contents follow the title and copyright pages, and it has chapter headings, the titles for each chapter. Look, this is an example of a table of contents. The copyright page normally comes after the title page, and all the copyright pages states who owns the right to the book and when was the book published. The body or text part of the book is the written sections of the book, and it could be split chapter by chapter. The glossary. The glossary of a book is written in dictionary format and includes new or unfamiliar words. It is listed in alphabetical order and it has the meanings of very important words in the book. The index is an alphabetical listing of all the names and subjects and ideas that was in the book. Page numbers are included to help you locate where to find that subject. The bibliography is in the back of the book and it usually lists all the references used by the author in writing the book. Great job. Now you know all the parts of a book. Maybe you should become a librarian when you grow up. Okay kids, you all should know the different parts of a book. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask your teacher, parent, or your local librarian, which in your case is Mr. Ashley. Until next time, bye.